Say we're given the following data points. So let's determine the least squares regression line. The least squares regression line is given in the standard form and can be found using the following process. The first step is to define the various metrics that are related to the data that we're given. Now I mentioned earlier that I use a table to complete all of these calculations in an organized manner. This is what the expanded table would look like. Our original data is right there in the first and the third columns. And then we just build out the rest from there. Our next step is to take these new metrics and start defining various characteristics of our line. So let's start with the regression coefficient or the slope of the line. So remember the general formula is the sum of the xy products divided by the sum of squares of x. These values can be found using the standard formulas presented to us in the NCES reference handbook. And you can see them right there calculated out. I'm saving you a bunch of time. Combining them all together, we get a regression coefficient of 1.06. Our next step is to determine the y-intercept by plugging in the mean of our x values, the mean of our y values, and the regression coefficient we just calculated. Now doing this, we get the equation of 3.52 minus 1.06 times 3.48 or a value of negative 0.17. Therefore, the least squares regression line is given by the equation y is equal to 1.06x minus 0.17. But we've got to take this one more step and see if this equation is even a legitimate representation of our data. So let's determine the goodness of fit by calculating the correlation coefficient, r, which is given by the equation right there on your screen. Now, we've defined all the metrics except for the sum of squares of y, s, y, y, which is given by the formula right there, and that can be found in your NCES reference handbook. Plugging in all of our values, we get a goodness of fit of 0.999. So our goodness of fit exceeds 0.85, meaning the fit is good, and it's actually nearly a perfect straight line. This means that the equation we have derived to represent the data can re be reliably used to predict across other inputs.